Battle Titans is about to release a brand new map, Gondwa, an island full of new locations and beautiful areas, deeper rivers that will finally aid big aquatic creatures like an adult Spinosaurus to get around a little bit faster. So, in other words, growing aquatic creatures will be much easier? Well then, not necessarily. Other players who either need food or want to establish dominance will always be a pesty thorn in your side. So where should I go to them? Can I find a place safe to grow? Well, that is difficult to say. You see, no matter how far you go, you will always have to stay in areas with quests to grow. And of course, you will not be the only one. And the map is on the date of this video not public yet, so it's difficult to say which spot which will be most active. However, I played some time on the testing servers. So out of how I observe player behavior on both Panjura and Gondwa, I will draw a picture for us where I believe the more active location will be, and the reasons why. The following does contain something akin to spoilers from Gondwa, so if you'd rather go into the new map and explore and find new stuff while also saving the enjoyment of discovering something new, then I advise you to stop watching. If not, then keep watching out of own volition. Also, I want to clarify, as the date of the release of this video, the map is still not public, so this analysis on the map is mostly due to the subjective observation on both map and player behaviors. So to start us off, we should first look at the places where players will probably, absolutely, definitely go to. The home camps and waste stones. If we look on how players behave on Panjura, these places are definitely locations where campers might appear. Luckily, however, camping a home cave is no longer something to worry too much about. Just by being close to a home cave, it will give you the negative status effect which makes you unable to recover stamina. However, that doesn't mean you can let your guard down around these areas completely, or even on purpose seek refuge there in case you're attacked. Gondwa has been so kind to us to give us 9 home caves and 6 waystones. All located right there. Now, despite knowing that these locations can be infected with players, there are some still less active than others. Take for example at Panjura. The home cave at Little Brock Medoa has both water and food close by, not to mention it is a fantastic questing area. Taking these conditions and comparing them to what I've seen on Gondwa, I'd say it's best to avoid these locations. As they have both home cave and waystone close to each other, not to mention quest and source of water close by. Well, I say water, but most of it are seawater, and if you drink it, you'll get the assault effect for 2 minutes, which is just enough to make you desperately need for water again. So, uh, don't drink seawater unless you're okay with drinking every 2 minutes. Some areas are worse than others, especially this area. Not only is this location where the cave and the waystone are the closest to each other, the waystone is surrounded by deep rivers, and it doesn't take a genius to understand what may camp in the rivers. It is also a good questing area, and food sources, at least for herbivores, are uh, around. For carnivores, uh, well I didn't get a chance to look for it as I was in a hurry to get out of there. If you need to use the stones of cave then, I would suggest using the more secluded alternatives. Speaking of food sources, I'm not going to locate every food source on the map, but plants for herbivores or burrows for carnivores or how I would like to call them, vending machines, are pretty much spread around the map. Seriously, I mean it, you just mess around with them a bit and something delicious comes out. And for some reason they never go empty and you've got some variety. <clears throat> Anyways, food sources aside. Good questing areas is what most players will be looking for. However, what makes a good questing area? On Panjura, almost every player chooses to migrate between locations on the map. However, if you are in a group, you tend to stay around a certain area and just farm the easy quests there. For solo players, or groups with lesser or smaller creatures, you would like to avoid these areas. I spoke of this area earlier, but there are more. For now, I believe this will be the right estimation. Again, this is only out of subjective observation on both map and behaviors on the players. Location that are marked 
it's pretty much comparable to a location like Spine Lizard Lagoon or Grassland Crater, rich in quest and both food and water. While this location has something else players might start find value in. Hot springs. And not just any normal hot springs. Drinking the water will heal you for a while, something PvP players will most likely find value in. As for the island down south, well, can even any creatures who is not semi-aquatic make the swim without being jumped by semi-aquatics? In any case, I can see this island being completely ruled by semi-aquatics. And there are also some good quests there. So if you are a semi-aquatic, then I highly suggest you going to this area. I kind of forgot to ask. Do you know any location that may provide the best uh, quests? Since you have uh, mentioned in the earlier videos that some quests better than others does exist. Ah, well for that. Uh, because this message popped up, I kinda didn't want to grow a dino since it was going to be deleted anyways. So I spent most of my time just exploring the map as a baby. But there are some quests which are easier to finish than others. Mostly the quests are on the beaches. They could be like uh, collecting sea pickles or shells, and those items are just all over the place. However, those quests may be a bit far from safe water sources, and as mentioned earlier, drinking seawater is hardly ideal. But enough about my own speculation. What about your thoughts? Did any of you guys play on the testing servers? Do you agree or disagree? Leave that in the comments below and I will see you guys later.